I won't keep this rolling for long, but uh, this is the way we get to start the day. I think it's, uh, I don't know, what was it, 700 feet? Um, looked like straight up, and uh, it doesn't look like it was joking. So, it'd be fun to see if it, it's like this all the way to the top. But I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys listen to me pant all the way up. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit on the camera for you. So that was about 609 feet over a mile. Uh, we're at the summit now. That was a, a good way to get the day going, warm up for what should be a fairly long day. Just a 360 view of the summit. And as usual, now we're gonna go down the hill. We just came up. So good morning, everybody. It is Monday, 22 June. Uh, I stayed at Bear Gardens Hiker Hostel last night after it was just, just shy of 13 mile day. Uh, extremely disappointed since the intent was to try to get videos uploaded. However, I think I ended yesterday's video with uh, the fact that I was getting a 0.13, uh, point, a big period, 1.3 megabytes per second upload. So not even 1% of a video got uploaded last night. So uh, really upset that I wasted the, basically half a day sitting around a, a hostel with shitty internet connection. But I'll tell you, it was... Uh, it was very nice to actually spend that long relaxing, not having to go try to resupply. I did edit, spend a couple hours editing uh, the last two days worth of video. So it, it wasn't a complete waste. Um, it was just not productive as far as progress down track. So um, I think in the long run, uh, my body will thank me. So I'm not sure what today's goal is. Uh, Gut Hooks has given me a bunch of false information or contradictory information. So it looks like I'm gonna push for a Jenny, Jenny's Knob Shelter. Um, Gut Hooks is saying that's like 26.5 miles. So that should be a, a decent day. Um, based off of weather i didn't didn't get a chance to look but that someone was discussing yesterday an 80 percent chance so i'm sure i'm going to uh, get to enjoy some hto h2o um water uh -huh. trying to make a joke there i failed um but yeah uh, i got my shoes dried again they had a uh, little shoe boot dryers there so I didn't have to stick them in the, the clothes dryer, which is always nice. That's the second hostel. These ones weren't near as nice as the ones at uh, Uncle Johnny's, but oh well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see if we can make some progress down track. Um, I've got my primary credit card. I, I haven't been reporting this, but last week uh, there was a fraud alert put on the primary credit card I've been using. So that was, uh, I couldn't use that as of like three days ago. So they finally cut down the extension or canceled it. So I, I've got several other credit cards in my debit card with me, so it's not an issue, but I do have a, a new one being shipped out. Again, based off contradictory mileage, uh, I should be picking that up at a hostel here in maybe a day or two, um, I think two days. So uh, that, that'll be nice, I don't know. Hopefully that city has a, an outfitter. I did get a, a slight uh, homemade repair to my chest strap. Um, apparently the traveling sewing kits are complete crap. I broke three, new, three needles and the thread is weak as hell. So I'm sure this won't hold up through the day, but we'll see, there's not a whole lot of pressure on it just enough to try to keep the pack held forward and not slide back across my shoulders. Um, I also made the repairs to my FUPA. Uh, I did not get a hold of Z-Pack since it was Sunday, so I had absolutely zero um, 
cellular service at that hostel. So at least the internet was good enough to upload pictures to Facebook and catch up on some emails. Um, but yeah, at some point I'll get some better needles or thread or actually get a replacement clip for the pack. And I'm almost more and more convinced that once I get to a real outfitter or an REI or a, a bigger city that's actually got a backpacking store, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna swap out the pack. Um, the waistband, I don't know if it's just poor padding, but yeah, it's still still rubbing me wrong around the waist. I don't know if it's because the weight I've lost, I've, I've already lost the little padding I had there on my hip bones. Um, but I've, I've adjusted everything else down there and I'm still getting rubbed. And I can feel the sharp edges of the, uh, the packed waist, waistband. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But, okay, that's enough rambling for this morning. Um, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, as things come up, I will get it on uh, video or pictures and share it with you guys as soon as I can. Can't see much because of the trees. These green tunnels can get dark depending on the amount of growth. I don't know if it's really the growth in this one. And we've got trees, trees as well on top of the tunnel. And then if I'm not mistaken, as my luck would have it, it is trying to start raining. So it may be uh, extremely overcast above the trees as well, adding to the uh, darkness. Now, let's see, last time I tried this with a camera in my hand, I fell in the stream, so. Let's see if, uh, hopefully I don't do that again this time. Uh, if I was smart, I'd just put the camera down. But I've never been accused of being smart. Eight o'clock in the morning, Monday, I think it was still, yeah, 22 June. Uh, yeah, and we are 
this is pretty much what most of the morning has looked like. There was some downhill in between a peak. Um, I didn't look too close, but the uh, like barb at the shelter was talking about like five miles uphill. So hopefully it's not all like this. Believe it or not, they are actually using switchbacks, but we're still going up at this angle. Bridge closed. So it looks like we'll get our first uh, forging. Uh, dev, return safe level. Yep. I'm not sure. That creek's just right up here. That's the second sign I've seen. Uh, I'll say maybe, maybe this is it right up here. Oh, yep. Look at here. Looks like that's uh, part of the bridge. And that's the other part. So, uh, yeah, we'll get the forge here. Looks like, uh, I mean, this part's obviously deep, uh, but that looks shallow right there across the uh, little ways. I'm assuming maybe that's what these little ribbons are for. People will say, this way, this is a safe way to do it. So, okay, I'm going to, uh, yeah, looks like we're gonna forge, forge a river. Yeah, at least it's shallow. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put my camp shoes on before just river. Um, hopefully I can do this. I'm gonna try to film it for you guys. It's, it'll be my first uh, first forging. Uh, and this was one of the one of the reasons I picked the camp shoes I did. Is they strap on. These are the zero uh, zero sandals uh, or made by zero. I forget the actual. Uh, and they got several. I just bought a new pair uh, before I left for the trail as well, but I didn't bring those. They're the Trek sandals, which are actually meant for hiking. Uh, my pack is just too heavy to uh, try to do this in sandals. So yeah, <clears throat> these shoes strap on, so they should should provide some uh, traction and stay on long forging. Uh, and then uh, hopefully I don't fall and bust my ass while I'm holding the camera trying to capture this and share it. Too, buddy. 
Okay, we're gonna try to go across this river. Actually, I guess I, I'm not gonna be holding the camera. It's gonna be sitting here on the shore uh, capturing the video. So technically I'm gonna cross this river twice so I can come back and get my camera. But uh, we'll see, we'll see what works here. Kind of shallow where I cross, anyways. I guess that's the goal. Uh, I guess fortunate for me it wasn't raining, uh, but I guess technically, if it was raining and my shoes were already wet, I would have just walked across that in my shoes. Uh, because my shoes are currently dry, I think it's worth the effort to try to keep them dry. But obviously, if they were wet, I would have just went ahead walked walked across um got my little my little chamois towel dry my feet off put my shoes on and start heading back down track These, uh, these darn tough socks are pretty nice. This is uh, the only pair that I've worn Got over over 500 miles on them. And uh, a little bit of wear on the side from where I, uh, I apparently like to rub my heels um, as I walk. I don't know what that says about my stride, but The, uh, the heel of the shoe coming up and rubbing the sock at some point that seam may may separate but the darn top have a, a lifetime warranty so one of these uh one of the outfitters REI is that i stopped by at some point um a lot of them will uh trade them in for free and uh send them back to uh darn tough or they may just have something like darn tough where they just dispose of them I don't know if they want them back to analyze what they, what happened to them, how they failed, whatever. Um, okay. I guess those are gonna, those are gonna be wet either way. Muddy, end up getting dirt in my pack. Oh well.
Yep. First river crossing success. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock in the uh, morning. Uh, I got to ford the first river. And now it looks like uh, I'm about to start the five mile uphill that uh, they were talking about at the shelter. Um, so if I'm reading gut hooks correctly, it, it looked like it's like four points. Yeah, 4.6 miles. Um, and I got to double check the math or I'll check it tonight when I get to the shelter. But uh, my initial calculation was like the elevation change over this next 4.6 miles is going to be like 6,590 something. Um, so, yeah, looks like I've got a grueling couple hours ahead of me. So I don't, I don't know if I'll stop to record a hang on the way up. Um, this is a reminder to myself, I guess. My, uh, my approach to hills like this is uh, head down, eyes up, looking no longer or no further than six to eight feet in front of me and keep moving. Um, it can only last so long Unfortunately, I looked and it's going to last 4.6 miles. So, we'll, we'll see how bad it is. Um, my guess is uh, we'll see you at the top. Hopefully, there will be a view. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's like everything else where the trees have uh, definitely blocking all the views. Uh, at least off the, uh, the sides of the mountain. So, uh, I'll give you a look around here before I uh, start up this hill. And uh, I don't know where it starts. I'm technically I'm up it, so if it's gonna be like this, it won't be bad. But we'll, we'll see. As you can see there, if the trees weren't there, you could see the uh, the mountain ridges over there again. Um, but yeah, nothing but trees. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll either see you at the top or somewhere in between here and the top. Out. Up into a, a little valley. I don't. I don't think we're quite to the top of this 4.6 miles. We'll see what this valley does. May just be skipping over to the next peak. I went from that open field. This almost looks like a could have been a service road at one point. But yeah, I think it's just crossing over to another peak. I took a uh, quick look at gut hooks and we're about halfway up uh, the 4.6 miles. So still got a while to go. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you at the top. There's a little pond right at the uh, top. I uh, guess we're in between the peaks, like I said, I, we're just crossing over. Um, rain clouds, that's uh, probably what's going to dump on me later. A nice overcast view. Some mountains over there. And that's the, uh, that's the direction from which I just came. Um, we'll uh, keep heading that way and see where it goes. Uh, the peak is over there somewhere, about a mile out, according to gut hooks. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what these fields are. There's, I'm seeing uh, horse prints uh, here, but there's definitely been some kind of a vehicle down here. 
but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the last or the next mile is gonna be in an open field like this or if we'll get back in the woods, but we'll see. Yeah. Looks like the rain clouds are definitely trying to blow in this way. So at some point today, I will, uh, as the status quo goes, get rained on. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I made repairs to my FUPA last night, My uh, the utility pack I use um, on the right side where it was separating. And then just about 20 minutes ago, the left side of the pack, which I was not, I had zero concerns about, completely separated. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I will, uh, I'm gonna try to get all the Z-Packs. I did have one safety pin, but again, it's a piece of crap. It came in uh, one of those little traveling sewing kits. So it bent right to freak up. So it's, uh, it's currently holding, but I don't think it's gonna make it throughout the day. I think I've got one sewing needle left from uh, the kit last night. <clears throat> I broke three needles, so we'll see. Uh, but I'll uh, make temporary repairs to that and uh, try to get all the Z-Packs for a replacement. We came out of the meadow, but it's still, now we're walking up what appears to be like a, just a rocky road. Yeah. Maybe a dried up, mostly dried up stream bed, maybe. familiar again another split I believe the trail goes this way there's some horse prints um, again it looks like looks like horses are allowed on portions of the AT some places specifically have signs forbidding them but, oh well yep there's the blaze in the right way well looks like this 4.6 mile thing came up to a uh, chestnut knob shelter. This is actually where I was uh, planning on staying last night before I decided to go to the hostel. It's like uh, some people have decided to. We have a bunch of trash that's completely on set. Trail volunteers or angels. Uh, leave no trace. And yet all these people leave, leave freaking trash. That, uh, yeah, look at that. That definitely would have been some awesome views. Sunrise, sunset. Yeah. Now I'm really wishing I would have come up here last night. Or yesterday. That was such a freaking waste. Staying at a hostel. Here's a view of the top, uh, Chestnut Knob Shelter. Uh, yeah, this is where I was supposed to stay last night um, before I decided to call it a day. Unfortunately, I called it a short day and wasted it. Um, would have been some awesome views, uh, especially given the weather 
yesterday and so far this morning. Uh, it looks a little overcast over there, but would have been awesome. Okay, so I'm going to head down track. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought there was a, I thought I saw something about a general store um, somewhere up the road. I may stop. I was going to make a, another repair to my foop on the left side that fell apart, but apparently I broke all my needles yesterday. The only ones left in the uh, kit are uh, push pins. So I've got a, a weak ass safety pin in there now. Uh, it kept coming apart, so I just stuck it in there and bent it. So hopefully it'll hold me in so I can get a, a legitimate, I didn't know there was such a thing as a non-legitimate safety pin, but apparently there are crappy quality safety pins and then there are better quality safety pins. But I'll, get a, I'll eventually get somewhere where I can get a decent needle or a decent safety pin. So I can keep this thing together. I did uh, had some signals, so I emailed uh, Z Packs trying to find out if there's a backlog. Um, okay, so uh, I did email Z Packs see if there was a backlog on uh, the FUPAs and or what the odds are of uh, being able to overnight ship one. I'm still about 40 miles out, I believe, from where. You know, 40 miles if I can trust uh, gut hooks. I'm having real issues trusting the mileage here in the last couple of days on there. But about 40 miles out, according to gut hooks, where I had my replacement credit card sent. So if uh, z -Packs gets my email and processes it, and if they're able, I'm really hoping they can ship me a replacement or let me know so I can order it. Um, be really upset. Or, uh, I'm not upset, I just, Disappointed the fact that I may have to buy a $65 FUPA after it fell apart in less than 600 miles. I would, I've heard different things about z uh, customer service. So hopefully, hopefully they'll do the right thing and ship me a, a replacement for free. Um, I don't know if they've got any kind of guarantee on, on their stuff or not. But so far I've been impressed with their gear. They said, I, I think I've got issues uh, with my rain jacket. Their rain skirt is awesome. Um, and I absolutely love the FUPA. I just, it's really disappointing that it's falling apart so quick. So hopefully, hopefully I can get another one. If not, I'll have to buy some kind of utility pack. Um, it's just real convenient to keep all my snacks and that's where I keep my phone for easy access throughout the day. So. Okay, um, so now that we're up that uh, hill, I went ahead and ate lunch in the chestnut, uh, chestnut knob shelter, I believe. So, yeah, uh, which is unusual. I mean, I, I only spent a few minutes in there. Signed the, uh, the log book, ate my protein bar, and took some pictures, uh, emailed z -Pack. So we're going to make down track. I think it was noon, 12.01. Um, and we're just under 12 miles so far for the day. A uh, little behind from where I would have liked to have been. But that uh, 4.6 miles uphill was not quite as bad as I was expecting. Uh, I guess just because it was spread out so far. So I still need to double check the uh, elevation. But not bad. Hopefully the uh, there's not much uphill for the rest of the day so I can make better progress. But, Okay, uh, I'm out, so, yep, out.
I'm calling it a uh, short day again. I say short, it'll be uh, 15, 15 30 ish is uh, when the shuttle driver is going to meet me at the road. I've still got a little over a mile uh, to get there. Uh, that will put me right about, right about 18 miles for the day. So uh, I just taken another look at gut hooks. I don't know what's going on. The uh, shelter that I was looking at, or my goal for the day, is now showing another 26 miles um, ahead of me. So I don't know what's going on. The last several days, gut hooks mileage has just been way off. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's got the GPS, so I'm, I'm done trying to figure it out. There's another... Uh, another shelter that I was looking at, which actually shows it's only like another five miles over with my uh, my fupa completely falling apart. And the fact that I don't have any more needles to try to make a repair is I really, I, it's not like I need, but the, uh, the convenience of having my fupa uh, just outweighs the, uh, the, trouble of doing another five miles or so today and not knowing when I'm going to be able to get to a store. I think I go near a town tomorrow, but uh, this hostel, uh, I've already talked to them. I'm just going to get a bunk. They got Wi-Fi, so I'm going to attempt to upload videos again. Uh, hopefully this one will have cell service so I can at least use my cell service to assist if the Wi-Fi sucks uh, as bad as it did at Bear Gardens. Bear Gardens had zero cell service, so I couldn't even use that to assist the upload. Um, but the biggest factor is that these guys run a, uh, a shuttle into town. Uh, I've already talked to them. Uh, when they're busy, they do it at a set time. But since they're not real busy, uh, they're just doing it. So, so it looks like 18, 1900, they have to go pick up another couple to bring them to the hostel. So that's when we'll go in town and then I can get some needle and thread and then depending on where we stop uh, hopefully I can pick up some nor sides to uh, swap out for these ramen noodles I haven't had to eat yet since I've stayed at a hostel uh, last night and tonight so like I said I, I just it is what it is if, if I have to I'll eat them uh, but if I get a chance I'm definitely gonna swap them out I'd rather have a and nor rice select side than ramen noodles. Um, but then I can also go ahead and replenish the snacks uh, that I've eaten yesterday and today as a, or while I was on the trail to reset. Uh, that means I've basically been carrying four days of food for no reason. But that is what it is. Uh, and then I still can't figure out the place where my credit card is is saying like 64 miles so that's that's what i was trying to time out so i could get there at, at a decent decent hour put in a decent day's hike to stay there um but depending on how it works i may just pick up my mail and uh carry on but we'll see okay that's all i got for now i'm going uphill so you guys don't have to listen to me breathe. I'll get off here. Out. Um.